Well, hey there, welcome to the Jaw Heart Technique of the Week, where this week we'll be talking about muting and how it can add to your music. Now, muting can be done on most harps, but the best results I've found is with a mid-range harp with a flexible reed. Now, the two ways I do muting, the first way is we're going to place the thumb on the back side of the reed, lightly pressing up against the reed. Let's go ahead and do that. We will pluck once without pressing, and on the second pluck, we will press lightly on the back side of the reed, changing the tone. Now we can apply this to a rhythm. The rhythm we are going to be building on these next several weeks is going to sound like this. Pluck with me slowly. Now let's combine that rhythm with our newfound muting technique. We're going to be plucking, then muting and letting off, just to create a pause in our don don dido dido. Now the second way of muting I do is I take my pointer finger and I use it on the front of the frame. I hold it in front of the reed without actually touching it. We're just, we're not going to be pressing on it. We're just limiting the vibration of the reed. We're going to be plucking that same, that very same, that very same rhythm while using this new muting technique. Now you may find you have to change the position of your finger a little bit till it starts feeling right. If you push on it too much, you'll get sounds like this. Or if you're holding too far away, it might not actually do anything. There is kind of a sweet spot holding your finger on the frame. Let's go ahead and apply it to our technique again. Now let's combine the two. We'll be using the thumb technique on the first verse, the finger muting technique on the second verse. And then we'll add well, just a little bit of something extra at the end. Let's see if we can get this going. There's a lot more you can do with muting, a lot of different harps you can apply it with, and a lot of different things that you can do when you take this and integrate it with your own styles of playing and your own rhythms. Well, that's going to be it for the Jaw Harp Technique of the Week. Like, share, and subscribe for more harpery. Harp out.